Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make a texture pack here in Minecraft Bedrock. And we'll be doing this stripped spruce log as our main texture. And you can see that right here on the corner of this house. Now we need to set up a new working folder on our computer, so let's switch over there right now. I just made a folder on my C drive, and I named it Textures. You can name it anything you want, and you can put it any place you want. This just works out well for me for this video. The next thing we need is to get a new vanilla resource pack. We'll download that from online. You'll find this at the official Minecraft website. It's minecraft.net. I'll put the link for this in the description. Scroll down, down past those two things, and right down here's a little middle section right there. It says resource packs. Click on that to download the current resource pack, and then save that into your working folder. I'll choose save right here. Now open this up in a new window. I'll just right click and choose open in new window right there. Here we go. Now a couple things that we need out of here. Let me just put this right over here. We need the manifest.json. We also need the pack icon PNG. There we go. I'm just going to right drag those over here and copy. We also need to find where the texture file is and bring that over. So go into textures and then into blocks. Come way down towards the bottom. And here we go, here are the strip logs. And it's right there. There's strip spruce and strip spruce top. We want the one that says stripped spruce log. And just right drag it over here and copy. Okay, that's all we need out of that vanilla resource pack. We can now close that down. I'll be editing this file inside of paint.net. It's a very easy to use program. It's also free. I'll put a link for that in the description. Let me bring that up. There we go, and here's our folder in front. Now to load a picture, the easy way here is just to drag and drop right into paint.net, just like that, and choose open. And these are real small images, so we'll just zoom in on this. There we go. If you want to put in more detail on this, you can increase the resolution. We're not going to worry about adding more detail, but I'll show you how to increase the resolution anyway, just in case you want to. And that's up here under image. Come down to resize. It's 16 by 16. I'll change this to 32 by 32. Now up here where it says resampling, make sure you change this so it says nearest neighbor right there. Okay, then choose OK. And it just makes it a larger image. You can put in more detail now if you want to. Now I want to make a copy of the layer in here from your layers right over here. I'll just put this like that. There's the background layer. Go up to layers, come down to duplicate layer. Now in this layer, we'll cut out some of what's in here and save part of that. And I'll hide the background just for a bit right now. Okay, let's go over here, and here's your rectangle select. Now you can see the squares in here. A little hard to see possibly, but I'm gonna come just inside this square. I'll come down two, and I'll go straight across like that. And I'll hit the delete key, just deleting that out. Same thing right here, come down two squares, and delete, that cuts that bit out. Now come down both directions like that, hit the delete key, and it leaves those two lines in here. Okay, let's now make a duplicate of this layer. Layers, duplicate layer. There we go, two backgrounds. If you want to, you can rename these things. Right here, this is going to be our top left. Choose OK. Double click to rename. And then this is going to be bottom right. And choose OK, so we know which one is which. Okay, now on the bottom right, we need to rotate this thing around. So go up to Layers, come down to Rotate 180. We're now going to cut off some of the stuff that we don't need in here, and we'll cut it off of the bottom right. So go over here again, make sure you're still on the Rectangle Select tool, and I'll just bring in a selection like that, hit the Delete key. Now it's only deleting off this one layer up here. Same thing, bottom left-hand side, hit the Delete key. There we go, that removed that. We'll now switch over here to the top left and do the same exact thing for those two pieces. Make a selection right down here and the delete key. And that leaves us with this. Now we have these two separate pieces. There is the top taken out and here's the bottom taken out. So if we change the values of these, it will then give us that detail on our main block. Here we go. Right now you can't see a thing because they're all just matching. So go to the top left right there, and I'll pull this down just a little bit so you can see that a bit better. Go up to adjustments, come down to brightness, contrast. And in here, let's change the brightness to 60 and then come down to the bottom layer here and let's increase the contrast to 58 and choose OK. There we go. That's our top section. Come down to the bottom right over here. Same trick, adjustments, brightness contrast. 
This time though, change the brightness to a 25, so we're going darker. And then leave the contrast alone at 58, that's fine, choose OK. And there we go, here's our nice carved looking block. So that's all set to go. We now need to save this out. I normally save these things twice, go up here to File, click on Save. This thing gives us saving it as a paint.net file in case I want to come back and do more editing later. That's a real nice thing to do, choose Save. Let's now save it out to the format that we need for the game, and that's the PNG format file, Save As. And then just change this down here to PNG. You'll see the original one right there, that's fine. Choose Save, it will overwrite that, choose Yes. Choose OK, and then where it says Flatten, click on that and choose OK there as well. All right, that's done. We have our new graphic all set to go. Let's now switch back to our working folder, and we'll make our resource pack and put this into the game. And I need to build the folder structure for our texture pack. That's real easy. I'll just go to the home page here, click on new folder. We need a folder named textures. There we are. Inside of this, we need one more new folder. Make another new folder here and call it blocks. There we go. Back to our working folder. Now simply copy the PNG file. Let's do a right click and copy. And then go inside of that blocks folder, right click and paste. There we go, and that takes care of the basic structure then of our resource pack. We now need to edit the manifest.json. I have mine opening up in Notepad++. It's a free program. I'll put the download link for that in the description. Let's just bring this up. And there are a few things to change in here. The first one up here is the description. You can call it anything you want to. I'll just call this one custom bedrock resource pack. And let's select that. Right click copy and then put that same name right here, paste, and the same name right down here. There we go, and paste. The next thing is these two UUID codes. There's one here and there's one here. We need to change these codes. Now, the easiest way is just to change the last number. I'm going to add five onto this and make this one 07. I'll add five onto this one, which will make this 24. There we go. That should work out just fine for us. Hit the save. There we go and we're all set to go. Now if you want to, you could use a different picture here for the pack icon. It's just a square picture. It's 256 by 256. Any picture is fine. I'll leave mine at the default though for this resource pack. Let's now just select these three, the textures folder, manifest JSON, and pack icon PNG. Click on share, click on zip. This makes it into a zip file and it says textures right there and that's fine. I'll leave it at textures. Now change the extension right here so it says MC pack there you go now if you don't see that extension just go up here to view and put a check mark right there find them extensions you'll then see the dot zip and you can change it to MC pack the icon should change to the Minecraft icon if it doesn't just go back out to the C drive then back into your working folder and you should see that changed we can now launch this now make sure that Minecraft is not running when you do this and then just double click on this like that is going to launch Minecraft and then install that resource pack. Once it's in, we'll then have to activate that pack. Okay, it says import started up here. We'll wait for it to say import successful. There we go, successfully imported custom bedrock resource pack. So it's installed. Now go to the settings and then scroll down in here, down to global resources, go into my packs, and you should see your new pack at the top right there, custom bedrock resource pack. Click on that, click activate. Let's double check that it's in the active section. There we go, it's right there, that's fine. Let's now back out of settings and click play and we'll check that pack. Let's just go over here and we'll test it out. I'll just take out one of those blocks, put in our new block and there we go, works great. And there you go, and I'll see you next time.